All right then gang, so if you remember way back to lesson two when we set up this file initially, what we did at the top is grab the Google icon font library and we placed it right there. And now we're gonna make use of this library and start playing around with icons a little bit. But how do we use these icons? Well, pretty simply, whenever we want to use an icon, what we do is create an I tag like this. It's just an I and then give it a class of material hyphen icons. Then we can choose from loads of different icons and I'm gonna show you how many icons there are in fact. I've gone to the material design icons right here. I'll leave the link down below so you can take a look at this and there are absolutely tons of different icons that we can use. Now, the way we output a specific icon is by using these different keywords here, sort or send or redo or save. So we use that keyword inside the I tag. We give it a class of material icons and then we say which icon we actually want to use inside the I tag itself. So for example, if I want one called an error, then I can do that, save it. And if I view this in a browser now, we can see this error icon right here, right? And we can also change the color of these. At the end of the day, this is a text, right? It's a font. So if we're changing this, we don't change the background color, we change the text color. So I could say, since it's an error, red hyphen text. And if I save that, and view this, we can see that this is now red, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see these a bit better. All right, so what other different icons can we use? Well, there's loads, but let's just do a few different examples. First of all, we'll say material icons right here. We need that for every icon that we do. Then inside, we'll say warning. And since this is a warning, I think what I'll do is make this yellow text. So we'll say yellow hyphen text. And then I also want to say text hyphen darken hyphen two, just to darken that yellow a little bit as well. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so now we get that warning triangle right there and it's yellow, cool. All right, so what else should we do? Well, we'll say material icons again. And then this time I want it to be a cloud. So let's do that and we'll make this gray, I think. So we'll do gray hyphen text and we need this thing right here because I've missed it off. Save that and preview this. And now we get a gray cloud. Finally, what I'd like to do is some kind of folder. So we'll say material icons. We'll make this blue. And then the keyword for this is folder. So if we save this now and view it in a browser, we can see this blue background folder because I've said blue and not blue text. That's what happens when you give it a background color. Um, this is the blue text color. So now we get a blue folder itself. All right, awesome. So I said that we can use icons inside buttons and that's pretty common in web designs, right? Sometimes you've got a button that says send with a little uh, paper airplane on it or something like that. So let's do something along those lines. So I'm gonna scroll down here to where it says icons on buttons. And we have anchor tags right here. So first of all, I'm gonna make these buttons by saying BTN. And I'm gonna give this a color of indigo. That's a background color, remember? And now what I want to do is add text and also an icon inside this. So what I'm gonna do is use a span tag for the text. You don't need to use a span tag for the text, but I like to put my text inside here just in case I want to target it in my own CSS separately. I can do that using the span tag. And I'm gonna say send. And then underneath that, what I'm gonna do is an I tag for a material icon. And then we'll give this a class equal to material hyphen icons. And the keyword for this one is gonna be send. So if I save that now, I view this over here. Now it's not quite working and that's probably because, there we go, we've missed out an S from class. So save that now and view it. And now we can see this thing right here, but it's not really aligned correctly. It looks a bit higher than it should be or this lower than it should be. So what we'll do is over here, if we're using this on a button, you can either say left to have the icon on the left of the button or right to float it right. And if we do that, then it should align a bit better. Now we can see it in the middle. That's pretty awesome. Okay, then let's do another down here. I'm gonna give this anchor tag a class of BTN. I'm gonna color this pink and it's gonna have the waves effect and we'll say waves hyphen light. So we've seen all that before. Then the text I want this to have is gonna be email. So we'll make a span tag and say email inside. Then underneath that, we'll do an I tag with material icons as the class. 
and then inside here we want to output the email icon we also want this to go to the right as well so we'll say right and save that view it in a browser and now we can see an email button now what if we say left let's just change that to left and now we should see this on the left awesome so that's how we can add these icons onto buttons very easily and they look pretty cool if I'm honest now I'd like to show you those floating buttons and we touched on these in the last video they were the circular buttons and we can add icons to those as well now typically we use those icons for things like edit or add or delete you know the little controls where we're adding data or deleting data that kind of stuff so let's create those first of all we'll create the button which is a floating button by saying btn floating then I want to make this blue and I want to make it pulse as well okay so inside here what do we want to do well all we really want to do is an icon we don't want text just an icon so we can say i dot material hyphen icons and then the first one is going to be add and that's going to give us a little plus button so if I save this now view this in a browser we can see this blue pulsating plus button that's pretty cool now let's do another one we'll say btn hyphen floating and then we'll make this red and also pulse and then this one is going to be for removing an item so we'll say i dot material icons and then inside this we'll say remove so let's save that and we should get a little minus sign now cool that's awesome and then finally we'll do one for editing so we'll say btn hyphen floating again then we'll make this orange and also pulse and then inside we want our icon so i dot material hyphen icons again and then this is going to be edit save that and view in a browser and we see this little pencil to edit the item as well so all of this stuff with buttons and icons in my opinion is one of the best things about materialize css because we can very easily make these awesome looking ui components